What's going on guys? Welcome back to Isaac A to Z. Today we're gonna knock out the last challenge besides Ultra Hard. We're gonna get Pong done and over with, and then I'll probably go back to characters, and you know, we got stuff to do on Greed, we got stuff to do on just normal character runs, and then when I've got some more stuff available to me, I'll come back. Wow, this is just a bad, bad room for this. There we go. Just had to let it go crazy. So, I don't think I really need to explain the gimmick. I thought it's fairly self-explanatory, but if not, giant tears, they bounce, they got piercing. That is it. Get all the way to the dark room and win. Not hard. Uh, sometimes time consuming though, because you don't actually get to go any faster. No tier rate items will ever increase the tier rate. Just like no, um, I don't think the damage goes up more than this either. We could look for some really cool tier modifiers and maybe get something happening, but for the most part, we're kind of locked in with what we got. I don't know if this resets my timer. It does not. Gather around, everybody. Gather around. Ah, some of you are too fat slow. All right. It will teach you to sometimes dodge if you get a really bad bounce and you're just stuck defenseless. An orbital will be amazing. Like in so many other runs, an orbital is amazing. And will carry. Mostly it's going to let you do something other than walk when your tears bouncing around. Same reason a candle could be really good. And so many other things. This on the other hand is a terrible room. went better than expected. I went way better than expected. All right. You know what would be, oh, if we had so many heart drops, we could just sack room our way there right away and just be done with it. The dream. We don't have nearly enough hearts or the build or anything of the sort. Let's go. I have no intention of going out of my way to get money or shops or anything of the sort. I just am trying to go fast. Tears like that, not gonna help. Not gonna help. How about you both come meet in the middle? Yep. Okay, lucky penny. We'll bomb right here to get a card. If I had another bomb, I'd go for the stone chest, but I don't. The moon. Okay. Not bad. I'm most likely going to end up using it as an escape more than anything. Say I go in the wrong room or this is a really annoying room, I'll probably just moon my way out of it. Hey. Cool. Little bit of protection. More luck. Why not? Monstro. Wait for him to land. And murder him. That is not good at all. And those flies are gonna murder whatever they had to look at. Oh, Guppy's head. That would be a 10 out of 10 pickup right now. Same with, uh. Oh, well, that's a shop, or that's an item room item. Got his head, and if we had money and get our shop, Jar of Flies would do wonders. What's up? Maybe we'll get some really cool angel deal. It's possible. One, two, thanks for the bomb. Let's go. I think a move speed item would be really good too, just for the sake of uh, running really, really fast when I go the wrong way. Nice. No spawns there. Bounce. One more. Calculated. Fortune. Nope. I don't know if this is one of those challenges that's going to uh, force me to take the negative, so... 
That is one last thing just to really pay attention to. Man, full clear. Oh well, mostly full clear. Alright, boss. Oof, you're dead. I still got hit. Bruh. We did get it in boost speed. Sure. That's gonna... Hold on, does this... Really? Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, it missed. Can I feed it back in? Yes, I can. Can I feed that one in? I don't care. I'm doing science. I don't think so, but I also can't hit it. Holy shit, they moved perfectly. I don't think so. All jizz, huh? Is this the moon? I'll keep the jizz. There's so many keys, and I don't think I've seen a single gold chest yet. Oh well. I guess the next thing that I really want to see right now would just be red health. We're not particularly hurting for anything other than health, so... Pretty good. I don't love... Okay, good. Our multi-shot took care of it, but I was like, I don't love rooms like this because I I cannot do anything unless the tier hits the thing blocking me. I'm all hairy now. No shot for us on this floor. Hit the prism. Or not. That's fine. That's fine. This time I will wait. I, I don't care. Yay. I really am trying to get this one over fast, like, it's a fun, silly challenge, but because it's just so long, I don't like to go slow on it. Not to mention, oh, that'll help. Less about it being long, more about it being the fact that there's not much you can do to really change the challenge up or to get some variety, like, getting the prism was really lucky, otherwise, you're pretty much guaranteed normally just to have one giant tier, and that's, that's your whole run. No matter what else you get, maybe you'll get a little cosmetically different, but no tier rate, no damage. Yeah, it's just, it's not the most exciting challenge in the world, in that sense. One little heart. Oh. Shop, though. I mean, it's right there. So sure. Get that deal up. Get the money. All right. Just wanted to sell her, honestly. Mapping, candles, etc. All good stuff, but um, really just wanted a little bit of protection. Go tears, go. You're doing a very bad job of bouncing up. You go get him tears. Yes. Oh no. Hold on. All right. All right go do your job. There we go. Much better. Much better. Loki, tiny room, you're gonna have to have a real bad day, Loki. PJs, there's my health. Another angel deal, decent percent. Nice, flight and health. Looking good, run, looking real good. Steps two already, it's about eight and a half minutes. So close, dear, so close. Ow, I 
can see behind my massive overpowered deers. Also, I've never had Prism on this run, and uh, I like it. No, I missed. There we go. It's not necessary to get those out, but you know what? I don't get them normally, and it's fun. So I'm gonna do it whenever I get a chance. Yup. I keep seeing that thing on my challenges, and I don't know why, but I'm okay with it. One luck. Nope. Wow, that was a very short. Oh, wait. I guess we're not going. I guess that's not the negative. Oh my god. I mean, for fun? For fun. It didn't actually change my tier rate either, so. get so many <laughs> I had to I could even like I could even Emperor out of this but I'm not really concerned with that I'm only aiming at my prism as well I don't need to aim at the actual enemies they'll bounce eventually The fact that we can have 16 of these giant things bouncing around just is too good. You know what? I take it back. This challenge has moved up the list. If you get the right stuff, it can be a ton of fun. Not cooperating. Hit the. You're not hitting. There we go. I was about to say we should be getting close, right? Oh, shielded on top of piercing. As if we weren't busted enough already. Beating boss rush. Oh, Ooh, I love it. Beating boss rush in 11 and a half minutes. Things that just shouldn't happen. This is one of the best builds I've seen recently. Obviously it's busted, which is why, but you know. For fun and utility. Go my balls. Really, it was just in my way. And... <laughs> Matriarch, this is gonna be good. Oh, just bullier. That was mean, but I loved it every second of it. The moon? No. I was say, these could sometimes pose a little bit of a problem. Just as the way they move, you know. 
can be, you can get some unlucky bounces on your tears and they dodge on the normal version. The fact that I have so many tears out right now kind of eliminates that from happening. Also, good thing I didn't do that. I wasn't able to do the sack room like I talked about because that would not have worked. Since apparently we're not going that way. Three hearts from a normal rock? I didn't think that was possible. I don't have glitter bombs, so strange. Very strange. You can't even tell they dropped a soul heart. You can't even tell those enemies shoot like the second part after you break them off the body because the shield of tears just absorb everything. Hey, charge me. All right, that'll do too. Chest is spike chest. Okay. I think I'm gonna pass on all that. I think I'm gonna pass to the light. And then we up over there and we're done. It's that easy. Here's the blind, doesn't matter. Yep. Yep. Oh, it's to the chest, that's why I was looking at it wrong. That's fine, I don't mind killing the bosses. I just didn't want to deal with this floor. Oh, sissy. Yes, please. We got a butt knife. That fly alone is unstuck, or that spider alone. There's my chest. I got three luck game. Won't see it. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure that one adversary just got one shot by the fly. Spider, how do I keep killing the flies? Spider. Nope. Hang man, but I'm already flying. None of us hit my prison. There we go. All wrong way, and no chess. There we go. Just gotta complain about it. Contagion? Normally a fantastic item. Not gonna get any use right now, because, well, it just dies too fast. Oof, yeah. Here for the end. Alright. 16 and a half minutes. Pokemans is done. Ooh. All right, I hate that item, but I'm glad I have it unlocked before I do Keeper. So, not the worst, not the worst. Um, yeah, that is, uh, that is Pong. That is a much more entertaining version of Pong than I normally get. So GG's 35. Last is ultra hard. I'm not doing that until I unlock more stuff from here. But we're getting very, very, very close. I have to do so many greed runs next. Maybe I'll work on greedier because I've got a lot to check off. Eh, that's future CJ's problem. Guys, thank you so much for watching. That's going to do it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Isaac A to Z.